to It's Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got another video today from Courtney Ryan talking about simps. It's her asking uh, a lot of the women's we've seen in her other videos about simps. What are simps? Do you like simps? What do you think about them? And all that. So uh, please like and subscribe down below. And I really appreciate that. Let's get to the video. It's Chow Time. Into it. Okay, and how would you define it? I would define a simp as a man or woman that is willing to go above and beyond to make their partner happy over their own expense. Mm, um, she's pretty good at spending A guy that does everything that the girl. Just a reminder, this is the 650,000 chick. <laughs> a man who constantly is just giving you compliments and uh, it's a hard one actually just being prominent being very prominent in your life always i would probably define it as a person maybe more i feel like a guy usually who is like obsessed with their girlfriend like does anything that they want them to do um, would cancel plans with their like guy friends or whoever to do whatever the girlfriend wanted them to do that day or in that exactly men like men that cancel their plans with their guy friends just to spend time with their girls yeah dude you're simping hard like you shouldn't be canceling plans with your friends just to be with a woman unless this is like your wife or something and even then have you made plans with your boys and you cancel them just because your wife or your girlfriend asked you to do that yeah dude come on that moment yeah they're just like kind of someone that just is I feel like they're always like following you like a little puppy dog um, <laughs> and they're I wouldn't I don't like really Sims. I mean there's a, the reason why I'm showing this video is like if any of you guys are experiencing these types of things cut it out um slightly is that like a guy who's easy to fool in a sense or am I think of it the wrong way Oh, well, that could be it. It's basically like a guy who does too much for a girl that he likes that doesn't really like him back. Oh. <laughs> but, She's I mean, not it wrong. could be easy to fool. A lot of girls will manipulate guys who do that because they get, you know, free stuff out of him or meals or Birkin yeah. bags. I mean, the list goes on. Um, so have you ever had a guy simp for you? Yes. <laughs> okay, what did he do? Um, He took me shopping. Okay. So that was nice. I would say... I don't just take your girlfriend's shopping men and just pay for their shit. Like, that doesn't even make sense. It's your hard-earned money. Don't just buy women shit just because, you know, like, you want to impress them. That's one thing about our culture and the West and just how men were raised is to lavish and shower women with gifts. It, it doesn't work out. I've had a few... <laughs> Um, but I don't feel like it's simping if, you know, like they're happy doing it. Does that, does that make sense? Of course it's simping if they're happy doing it. Most of men, that's the only attention they're going to get from women. So they're happy to give out money or do whatever it is just to get whatever attention they can. That's how much of lacking of attention these men get. Okay, like it's like an agreement almost. Yeah, like, you know, like I like your company, you like mine, but... It so sugar go baby gotcha than this absolutely and what did he do uh lots of double texting lots of making me feel confident on social media if i'm out in a the whole double texting thing it's why do we make it such a game about texting like i double text here and there just because I didn't get my first thought across the first time after the first message. So I'll like, I'll have like, Oh, a PS. There's also this little message here. So because I do that, most women think that I'm like double texting and then desperate. I'm just like, Oh, about we're in the same area. He's trying to come my way and just that do I would all agree. Of the extra things that I'm not asking for. Yeah. When you're doing all the extra things that they aren't asking for, they really don't appreciate it. They don't care. Good question. I don't think I have. Yes. Okay, can you tell me about it? What happened? <laughs> um, he basically <laughs> gave me an air conditioning unit, drove from Akron to give me an air conditioning unit. 
Um, sorry. You see the privileges of these women. Got a whole AC unit just because she's decent looking. And some guy is willing to drive from Akron. I don't know where she lives. So I'm assuming a couple hours worth of driving just to give her an AC unit. You know, and did he probably get anything? Probably not. Sorry if you're saying this, <laughs> but it's your sim. Oh, you see? Um, Fucking straight up call him Basically, like, sim. would just do anything, drop anything just to be around me, talk to me, always swiping up on my Instagrams, like, maybe even, like, a little bit creepy at some point, but, yeah, I felt like... Yes, man. Yes. Liking girls, all of girls' Instagram pictures and doing all those stupid shits. Yeah, that looks desperate and creepy. He, if I needed anything, he would, if like my cat was in a tree, he would run and jump up that tree and grab it. <laughs> Get your own cat, lady. Yes, all the time. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need you to describe it for me. What do the guys do that sim for you? And then we can, I'll ask you some more questions. After. Look at her. She says all the time and she has like this, now she has this like chip on her shoulders. <laughs> yeah, they comment on every aspect of me, my makeup, hair, clothing. Um, they find me online and they comment on all my pictures or they DM me all the time. Just like normal compliments. I feel like that's kind of like simping. Mm -hmm. and normal compliments? I don't know about that. No. What do you think about guys who simp? Just generally. <laughs> you know, I think they're putting a bad term on it. I feel with like people getting more woke. They make it seem that it's bad to like do stuff for a girl and be romantic because that's pretty much what it is. It's like you're courting a girl. You're being romantic. Yes, it is. But there's no reciprocation. If the girl doesn't like you and doesn't give you anything back in return, her time, her effort, her energy, then it's not the same thing. You're making her happy to see you. Not that. Um, just them showing up isn't good enough, but... Yeah, exactly. Me showing up should be good enough. I shouldn't have to go through all these hoops to try to impress a person. This is the whole point why the simps are looked down on. When you're first meeting a girl and dating her, I think it's important to do, the, do those certain things so she knows that, like, hey, he's serious. He means business. And so you're going to be put up... Don't listen to this. Obviously, you know, the whole manosphere stuff. Women says all this, but really, who the hell does she go for? Put on the top of the list versus the other guys who are just not making an effort. You know, they're going to be. Yeah, the guys that don't make an effort. You seem to make an effort to try to get their attention because they don't give you effort. But the men that give you all the effort in the world, you don't want to give them attention. So bottom tier. I think that there are probably some women who like that, who like the attention, who like... I think we all like a little bit of it. I do agree that she's right. Maybe there is a good small portion of women that truly do like it. They truly do want to be put on a pedestal. But I don't think it lasts that long. I think a lot of women get tired of it after a while. Even though that's what they really want, they will get tired of it attention and a little bit of validation but i think the majority of women think it's a little much or it's there a little you go. overbearing um that's the overbearing for me, part. personally it kind of turns me i mean it's just like clingy women babe i mean guys like like when w women are clinging to men we feel very similar to how women would feel when they're being simped on just the clinginess and just always being available and always trying to insert yourself into whatever events or life events that are happening. Off, it turns me away from them. I don't like when they're constantly like reacting to my pictures or DMing me. If <laughs> there I you go. Like... This is a good one. She does not like that you're constantly reacting and DMing them. Stop it. I kind of get the hint. It's not an attractive feature to have. I mean, read the signs and, and know what somebody's putting off. If they're not interested in you, you know, just take a step back and understand what they could mean. Right. I think that it can be good, but I also think too much simping, it's it's just over, it's, it's too much. 
A lot of girls like someone who has their own values, has their own opinions, uh, can make decisions on their own, not just what the girl wants to do. She likes it. I feel it. like sipping is almost more for desperation. Oh, so okay. I just feel like it looks desperate. And it does. End, yeah. I that is 100%. Sipping is seen as desperation for most women. Even men looking at men sipping for women, and we can tell and see, oh, he's desperate to keep her or to win her over in some way. I think they're not confident in who they are. I think that they're they're probably insecure and they are changing themselves or doing things um, to try to get the girl. I mean, there's different types of simps, I think. I think there's... Hey, it's funny uh, she says this, but remember the, the, the video yesterday with the Asian chick talking about, oh, you should change, you know, to, to meet your mate and all this. And it's just like, no, they're going to be simping and they're just going to get rejected. Simps that like maybe haven't had a girl in such a long time that they like have to simp to get a girl. And then there's simps that are like naturally simps. Like they actually enjoy like giving gifts and doing what the girl says. That's different. Cause I think if you're naturally a simp, you'll just like naturally find a girl that likes simps. Oh. No, if you're naturally a simp, the chances of even finding a girl is pretty low. And to say that you'll most likely match with another girl that likes simps, then you're going to have a rough life. But if you're like an unnatural simp, then I don't think anyone's going to be happy. The girl's going to like eventually, like it's, it's not natural. So it's just going to be like a different kind of simp. If that makes sense. <laughs> okay, and do you think girls can be simps too? Totally. Okay, do you want to explain how so? Um, so, like if there's a guy that a girl's interested in and she's trying to put in all of this effort and make herself look approachable to this guy and, you know, be sexy for him and he's just not reading the signs, whether that's blowing her off or not making time for her and she keeps trying and trying and trying, she's totally a simp for her. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I think that girls can get really obsessed over specific guys, what they're doing all the time. I mean, I've had friends who will follow every social media outlet, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. They're like, oh, he's doing... All right. I've had a girl literally would text me every hour. And then when I didn't answer Texas, and after she got off work, she would blow my phone up. Yeah, don't do that. This today, he's doing that today, and I'm kind of like, whoa, like why? Why do we care so much? And I think that in a in a formality, that is a way of them simping over the guy. Yeah, I mean, I think girls are like majority of the time simps. Or I think it's 50-50, but nope. I, I would say I'm a simp girlfriend. Explain it. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Um, I I, but I think I'm a natural simp. I love making my man happy. I love, like, I... But at least has to make 650 grand, though. So... <laughs> well, first of all, I would probably only date a guy that we had the similar interest. But I love, like doing whatever they want to do like i love just being their like little side little sidekick i genuinely enjoy that did you say side chick or sidekick um but then again <laughs> like i wouldn't do anything i wouldn't want to do um i'm not like that simp kind of girlfriend um so she wouldn't do anything that she wouldn't be willing to do okay but i would say yeah i'm a simp girlfriend yeah I think anyone can be a simp. Okay. Yeah. Does it look different? Like, explain a, a girl who is a simp. She would do the same things. I think she would comment on photos, DM you, compliment you all the time. Just kind of look. I feel like it's just a little bit of a desperate look. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I think. Yes. <laughs> can you explain? Um. So you'll see it a lot of times. I feel like um, when a girl or a woman... You know, they really want to be in a relationship. So to keep that man around, they will buy them whatever they want, give them their car, um, 
you know, do whatever they can just to make sure they have a man to keep him there. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they don't care that the man is using them because they just like that presence of a man being there. Yeah. Yes. Yes, they can. Um, I think it's hard because guys are always associated with simps, but I think girls can definitely be simps. It's just a little bit more like maybe she's crazy or... Um, <laughs> crazy. Like chasing the wrong guy on yes, the Yes, yeah. She's okay. crazy. And can guys be simps when they're in relationships? Yes. Because normally you see it as like they want a girl so bad they're simping for her, but not necessarily in a relationship, but... No, in a relationship, 100%. I mean, you see all the dominant women, the Karens, like just ruling over their husbands. Those are simps. You know, like everything their their wife says goes. You know, they try to go out with their friends. Their wife says no. Bye, friends. You know, like that's that's what simps are. In a relationship, I feel like that's... Like, I feel like it... Like the woman's happiness is your number one goal, which it should not be. It's more like... No, okay. no, I don't think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know this might sound crazy, but I was watching SpongeBob. It is the episode where Mr. Krabs, he lo he's like infatuated with Mrs. Puff and he starts like buying her everything. He's like, oh no, she needs a sun hat. Oh no, we can't let her go without this fabulous dress. And so, you know, he likes her so much that he keeps like buying and buying her stuff even though like she doesn't need it and she's just happy to be there with him. So I think you can be as simp in that way. It's just like yep. you keep buying her stuff and she's like, oh no, baby, I'm good. I don't need that. So, yeah. Yeah, that was a good example. example. I think so, but I also think in a relationship it's hard because you want to make that person happy and so whatever that person wants, if it's... Um... Now hear it, men? This, this, this is what women want from us. They want us to make them happy. Don't do it. What it requires to make them happy is your soul. Um, you know, if, if it's what you guys both want, then I think it works. But, you know, if she likes someone that maybe uh, is fawning all over her, obviously. But I think having your own opinion and, and kind of being your own man and being your own person is definitely important as well. So I, I think being a simp when you're not with somebody isn't necessarily or excuse me, being a simp when you're with somebody oh. isn't necessarily a bad thing because, you know, you may just be trying to show your partner the love languages. Eh, bad and yes, bad and no, like 50-50. Like, it also shows desperation that you got the person, but you're desperate to keep the person. So you're doing everything in your power to keep this person when you know they're kind of out of your league. So that is also a big problem but it can be overbearing if that's not what they need. And then outside of a relationship, a simp can just make you feel like annoyed and kind of creeped out to a point where it's like, dude, just leave me alone. Yep. Like what makes them simp? Desperation. <laughs> yeah. Desperation for what is it? Attention, a relationship. See, that is the number one thing that gets associated with Sims, guys. Freaking desperation. You know? It shows that you're desperate. It shows that you don't have skills to be able to talk to women or approach women without, one, showering them with gifts or showering them with attention. You know, going about and seeing a hot girl and telling her she's gorgeous isn't simping. But when you constantly tell that particular girl that she's gorgeous and she's so hot, that's simping to say you know to a compliment someone once is perfectly fine but to constantly compliment them every time you see them that's a problem yeah to prove themselves yeah mm, you know sometimes i think it's to show out show off like you want to brag show out like, i've never oh, heard that yeah, term it's nothing here go buy that you know it's like a i feel like it's a macho man like masculine you know, it feels good to be able to do stuff for people. And it gives you leverage. It gives you like a power advantage when you can do that, do that type of stuff for people. No. So I feel like it's... If you're just like buying shit for people, what power advantage do you really have? Power move slash infatuation, thinking that that person you're simping for will um, give you the love and 
the attention that you're seeking. Correct. In a sense. Yeah, I go with that. They want this girl so bad that they're willing to drop everything. They're they're willing to change who they are just to be with mm -hmm. this girl or you hear that? They're willing to change who they are to be with the girl is a big simp. And that and Lynn from that last video literally told men that you need to change so you can acclimate with the, the women that you want. Like, come on, people. Like you're fucking just telling people stupid shit. Um, you know, just kind of lose themselves. And I think being your own person, just kind of standing your ground, like a girl likes someone who has their own, you know, mindset and has their own actions and hobbies, you know, not just changing for like whatever she wants to do. How does the million dollar... I agree. Men, we need hobbies. Find something you enjoy. Put your time and effort into it on your free time and enjoy it. Be good at it. You know, don't concess your hobbies for others. Like I love bowling. I go bowling every Monday. Today happens to be a Monday. I'm going bowling. If a girl hits me up and wants to go out tonight, sorry, it's my bowling night. So you want to come? No, I like bowling by myself. So sorry question i i really that's a good question i don't know for sure i think that it could be you know again if you're really attracted to someone some of them maybe they can't help it some of them maybe think that that's the way to win a, win a woman over you know complimenting her validating her again there are some women who well yes because that's how men were raised in the west to constantly shower women with attention compliments gifts and that's how you win women over but obviously these women contradict that maybe that does win them over but i think again depending on the woman probably not into it but i think a lot of guys convince themselves that that is the way to you know what i think before feminism and before this whole movement narrative to make women strong, independent women, I think sipping was actually sought after. That made sense back in those days where that you weren't dating around anyways. And when the person that showered you with the most gifts and attention was most likely the person that you were going to meet with because there wasn't very many options around. So I don't think sipping was seen as such a bad thing back in the day. You know, get what they want or, or get that girl to like them. I think that could stem from a lot of reasons. They could be insecure with themselves and, and maybe try to be extra and do all of these extra generous things to make up for something that they're lacking. It could be that, or they were just raised this way. They were raised to put women on pedestals. Like they're, some men are like, they know they're decent looking men. They have decent careers, but their mentality about women is, oh, they're, you know, can do no wrong. And they're the most delicate thing in the world. And we have to protect them. That's how a lot of women think, or a lot of men think. Lacking in their personality or their ego or whatever it may be. Um, or it could just totally be, you know, who they are. So now I'm going to give you some different scenarios and you have to tell me if he's a simp or not. <laughs> okay. 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 So the first one is texting multiple times in a row without a response from you. Simp. And you can kind of explain if you're in between, you can kind of explain your answer a little bit. Ooh, I'm a bad texter. So I think if I don't respond to your text message at least four times, I'm probably not interested. And if you keep texting me, then it's definitely simping. Okay. okay. And then at some point it becomes like unannoying. Harassing. Like now you're annoying me. Like, yeah. Kind of take a hint. Right. Which is rude, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it. This is funny. She pretty much ghosts, ghosts them. After four, after, if she doesn't message them back, it's pretty much they should know that they should stop doing it. Why doesn't she just say, I'm not interested. Please stop. Instead, that she just ghosts them and let them keep constantly text her and be annoyed by it. It could be. I think, again, depending on the context of the situation, I think some people, I know I will, like, send multiple texts in a row for different things, like, within a two-minute span instead of typing it all in one. So if they're doing something like that, no. But if he sends one and an hour later she doesn't reply, mm. another, another, another. Is that how yeah. it's seen? Okay. Soon. I usually send it, like, right after Soon. each other. <laughs> 
Um, I would say at the simp. Mm, depends. Are you drunk? <laughs> but maybe. I would say, yeah. Okay, subscribing to an OnlyFans. Mm, no, because, I mean, maybe she's hot. <laughs> No, that's not something. Because she's hot is okay. <laughs> that's just, okay. I mean, OnlyFans is porn. So porn is porn. Yeah. And porn is not, no. Mm, I mean, I feel like people are curious. So I wouldn't call that a simp. <laughs> he might. It's funny how a lot of these women are defending this when it comes to OnlyFans. <laughs> I just want to see what that person has to offer controversial but I'm, I'm gonna go with yeah in my Yay. personal opinion i think that they would be simping for a girl if they're gonna do yeah. that a simp not a simp oh okay. what's why Buying a woman dinner not a simp no i don't think that's simping of course they're gonna no. not say fucking no, I think that that's like a respect thing you know like if you're going on a date or even if i've i have guys i'm friends with who will occasionally pay for my meal and i don't think that that's i think that's reading too much into it Mm. Um, I feel like that should be expected. <laughs> all right, yeah, that that the friend thing. I pay for my friends all the time. Uh, well, I mean, they pay. We pay for each other all the time. So when a woman's in the group, one of us literally takes care of the bill, anyways. So it, it usually doesn't matter. Typical. No. It depends. No, not sin. Okay, flying a girl out or flying to see her from a different city before meeting. Simp. <laughs> <laughs> simping yeah. okay. Simp. you know i'm like a hopeless romantic so i think it's sweet only if you've like kind of established that that's okay because i've had people like yeah you know oh my gosh like i'm gonna come to your city and see you. i'm thinking like bro who are you like no thank you but if it's like mutual then okay but if you're just like she's beautiful i'm flying out simp yeah, I agree with that. Again, depending on the situation. Um, if they've never met, but they've talked a lot, maybe they were vibing, they had a good connection. I mean, I think if I was talking to a guy who lived, let's say, in like Colorado and he, we really v were like vibing, then I might fly out to see him. Or if he did that for me, I might appreciate it. So I'll go with no on that one. No, because I might do this. <laughs> um. Paying rent for a woman's apartment when yes. he doesn't live there. <laughs> yes. I think that's kind of a simp move, but it's like circumstantial. If you're dating and it's he like, offers move. to pay like my rent, um, I guess it would depend on what situation I'm in. Like if okay. I'm if I need it or not, you know. Um, I think that, that one depends. So depends if she doesn't need if she needs it, uh, she he ain't yeah. simping. He's just taking care of her. Yeah. I mean, I think that kind of goes back to what I was saying before. It depends on their arrangement, but um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, depends on your friend. It's funny how they always say it depends on their arrangement. Like everything is an arrangement nowadays between these women and men. You know, financial situation, but definitely a simp. Simp. Getting her flowers. Not a simp. No, I love flowers. Giving her flowers on the first date and getting her flowers on every date is. So I would love to get flowers at any point in time. Getting her flowers. No. I think that's sweet. Got a simp. No. Leaving a nice comment on Instagram. As long as it's like not creepy, if it's like- She just said creepy, nice comment. I don't know, something along the lines of that, no. So it depends on the comment? Yeah, and I mean, if they're doing it for every picture, for sure, but if it's like every three or four pictures, I think it's fine. If it's every single post, it's simping. But if it's not, if it's every couple posts or something, then I just... All right, guys. If you guys really want to simp, make sure you have to do it every other post or every three posts. Don't do it every post. They'll catch you. So stop simping. Say... <laughs> then it's not, yeah. Leaving a nice comment on Instagram. No. Now, that depends on how many nice comments. <laughs> Let's see, all of them agree with how many who, like, comments go back it is. To your post from 2012, like, hey, beautiful, um, I love your pictures, check your DM. And you're looking like, why are you, like, why did you scroll down so far? So that, that seems a little iffy. I would say, like, <laughs> if you 
Because he's fucking checking you out. I think I like that. Depends on the person. But, I mean, maybe just direct message her instead. Okay. Do you think the comment makes a difference of, like, what they're saying? Yeah, definitely. If it's, like, hot or, like, if it's, like, wow, you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. No. Do not put that. Do not put that. <laughs> okay. So I'm in between that one because it, it really just depends – you know what the post is what the picture is if she just looks like a beautiful woman and it's not something that you do all the time you're not a simp but if you're always commenting on her instagram pictures and sliding up on her stories simp if he goes to the strip club Ew, that's just gross i mean if that's what you're into awesome but not a simp no hmm. that's not that one's a tough one if you're there constantly giving these women like thousands of dollars i would say so but if you're there just to enjoy your time with your buddies, you know, with just some naked women around, that's also a different story. Because I recently went to the strip club with my friends because he wanted to go. And we just ate, drank, and just relaxed and, you know, with some topless women around. So. Something. Yes. Mm, I feel like a good majority, majority of guys like the strip clubs. Some like the company, so I wouldn't exactly call that a simp. I don't like, know. Just that one I wouldn't know, to tell the truth, if majority of guys like strip clubs or not. Uh, most of my friends, we don't really go that often. That was the first time I went in like fucking ten years or so. So, but I do know a friend. I do have one friend that does enjoy strip clubs. He literally says he enjoys going to strip clubs. So. Fun for the night. <laughs> um, probably, I mean, no, I think people do that for entertainment. I, I don't think that it's really a simping kind of thing. Yeah, I think it's like uh, going to a bar with a little bit of side entertainment is what a strip club is for most men, maybe. I don't fucking know, tell the truth. And that's how it is for me, though. Are you working there? No. <laughs> then no, yeah, you can go. So to close this video out, if the guy's watching this right now thinking, oh my gosh, I'm a simp. In 15 seconds or less, try to tell them your best advice. Um, just be natural and let everything flow and let them come to you and you'll flow to them. And if the vibe Bad advice. Move on. Vibe is right. You will connect. I would say dial it back a little bit. I think that, again, girls like you to pay attention to them and to, you know, compliment them. But Bad advice. But don't do it in a way that is overbearing or too much. So just dial oh, okay. it back a little bit. You're semi, fine. You semi-bad advice. Rebound. Um, just chill out a little bit. I would say get to know yourself better first. Good advice. Because you know, once you know you, then you'll know how far you're willing to go for a woman. Or there, a person damn, you know very good advice. And what you would like to do for them. Yes. Standards, men. Give yourself standards and morals. Like, and anything breaks those standards or morals, you walk away. You don't break those standards and morals for some hot piece of ass. That's just not how it works. People look down on you for doing shit like that. Have self confidence. Be confident in who you are. Don't settle for anything less. You'll find the girl that, of your dreams. Bad advice. You do need the confidence, but just confidence, and soon you'll get the girl or get the fuck out of here. Eventually, she'll come, but don't look for it. She'll just come naturally. I would say if... Okay, somewhat good advice, I guess, because, uh, yeah, build yourself, become built, build your income, and yes, they will come to you. Then you get the vet, whatever you want. If you're watching this and you're like, okay... I do everything that this girl is saying, or all these girls are saying. Um, try to be a little bit more of your own person. Try to realize that this girl maybe isn't, you know, if she's the one, then she's the one, but she's gonna like you for who you are. So do not, you know, give her a little bit of chase. Like all girls love a little bit of chase, um, even though I hate the chase, <laughs> but you know, I do love it. My all girls love the chase, even though I hate the chase. You heard that, man? You heard it. She contradicted herself, even in that one. Best advice, if that's how you feel right now, is to just take a step back and reflect on what you can offer somebody and what somebody needs, and just focus on yourself and what you need, because the right person will come along to where they simp for you. Somewhat good advice. 
Yeah. Work on yourself. Find out what you need and want in another partner and then look for that. Don't, you know, bend over backwards looking for women. Don't make that your life goal. You know, like that shouldn't be the number one priority in your life is finding a woman. The number one priority in life is taking care of yourself, taking care of your health, taking care of your family. You know, that's the most important thing. All right, guys, that is all I have for this video. If you liked it or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you like this style of video, you want me to bring girls on more often, please let me know down in the comments. How was that, child, guys? Uh, again, most men were raised very blue pilled. Well, a lot of the things that these women were describing is just how men were raised, you know, like to put women on pedestals, to shower them with attention and gifts and things like that. And you can, they, some of these women told the truth. They don't like it. They think it's creepy. They think it's desperation, right? So we do hear some good things from the horse's mouth. And then we also hear the normal BS that they always try to say to men and, you know, like, just be yourself. And then you'll always find someone like it's just that ain't gonna happen work on yourself work on your looks work on your health and work on your money please like and subscribe down below i really appreciate that and i'll catch you guys next time it's chow time